careful. You, have, you need to be very careful with your uh, things. Yes, be very careful. Because it can be robbed at any time. Yeah. So we are here. This one is the junction, the Kenneth Matiba Road. Uh, it was initially Nutuli Avenue. Shifting meals. Yeah. So this is the Explore. junction Field. river road. And Shift. Hello good people, welcome back to Shifting News, a great channel with amazing views and wonderful videos. And uh, today it's a privilege, we are in the CBD and as you can see this is the Tema Road and River Road. And I'm still with uh, Walter, Walter here once again, welcome and keep me tuned. Yes, for those who are visiting us for the first time, make sure you subscribe, comment, like this video and ensure you are always updated on the new videos we upload uh, for our returning visitors thank you we appreciate your support always keep tuned we shall come up with new videos and uh, what are we doing because we are just taking a walk along uh, river road we are starting from uh, latema road going to yes then uh, we'll be talking about some few things that we see, the buildings, and some of the human activities that are going on. So it's a weekday and uh, the streets are very busy. So the video... <laughs> yes, of course, we'll meet a lot of obstacles along the mainly human things. So we want to see how to maneuver yes. across the streets. Sawa uh sawa. -huh. So keep watching uh, up to the end. I think you'll like it, you're going to focus maybe the buildings, the businesses happening around. So in some areas we may diverge just to show the other side of the road. So keep updated. So come along. So the streets are very busy. Nairobi is considered one of the busiest streets. Yeah. Busiest, oh yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You can just see that. One of the busiest towns. Oh, oh, oh. If you're not very careful, you can be hit. Yes, you'll be hit by moving vehicles in Kokoteli or moving cars like the one coming. So you, you are supposed to learn how to maneuver the streets, be careful and also now being a weekday, uh, we have a lot of people yes. as we can see like now we are just moving along the streets apart from the Mahali for uniforms all them the men in blue, they have to keep the city secure yeah <laughs> so there are those who are in plain clothes, there are those who are in uniform and I can say here there is a good uh, hotel, a very, I don't know if it's first uh, hotel. five star. It's quite hard until you get in. It's a long river road. It's a long river road. So what do you know about river road? Okay, river road is known as a business of, a uh, place of so many businesses. Ah. They say that you can't lack anything along river road. Electronics, uh, uh, household appliances it's clothes and everything so you can literally find anything that you need along river road uh -huh. uh, that is one positive thing a lot of businesses the other thing is like you have to be very cautious when you're moving along river road anywhere anywhere with a lot of business activities and, and a lot of people uh, there's prone to be criminal activities going on so you can be robbed along the place i read somewhere where well, a person was saying, uh, I think they were just somewhere walking and then uh, they felt like someone, wa they were pushing only later to realize the phone had gone yes. so when you are walking and 
there are a lot of people. You, you need to be very careful with your uh, things. Yes, be very careful. Well, can be wrong, but it can be yeah. So we are here. This one is the junction, the Kenneth Matiba Road. Uh, it was initially Lutuli Avenue. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is the Junction River Road and the former Lutuli Avenue. Yeah. And this road, River Road, uh, you realize uh, if you need vehicles to go to Mombasa. Uh -huh. They are found along this road. Tahmid, yeah. yeah. Randa Coach, yeah. Simba, yeah. Alafu Kuna Ingini Najita Nibaska. Oh, you have totally a lot of them. So it is about your preference, your bargaining power, Ile Nineza Kupetia, good service. Uh -huh. Yeah. The amount of comfort you want. Yeah, and uh, most of the cases. Heading to Mombasa, uh, those vehicles are very comfortable. Like any kuna ingine chan, yes, special city. What will come from? Ni prices ni good. Like any not that comfortable. Uh -huh. So ni wewe kwa mua, where you fit. So again, ratio of uh, price matters again. But okay. there is the option for SDR. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. The unfortunate part with yes, yeah. I don't know whether that one has been normal. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we have enough trips from Nairobi to Mombasa. You have to book in advance. Of course. If the traffic is usual, it's only during peak seasons that. Uh, no, in most of they operate with a schedule. So you find it six hours. Uh, I think that three trips both ways. To Mombasa and those coming from Mombasa. And is it able to take care of uh, the demand? Uh, the demand is a lot, and most of the time you will find it full. So that is the inconvenience that uh, the proximity of the stages, the, uh, the terminals. But you can opt for the 8 pm, 8 pm option. Is always uh, a direct uh, in it from Madaraka Express. That is now Express. Very busy street. Oh, you can come here purchase the machine. Eh, not a vehicle. <laughs> yes. And then I think uh, just at the uh, that road. Oh, that was not wasn't Lutuli Avenue. I think it was the former Atla Road. Because I can see here Lutuli Avenue. Which is famous for elect electronics, TVs, and but you are warned. Be careful. And that is now the warning factor when you come to buy electronics along Lutuli Avenue. That is the other side of robbery without violence. But they are still from nearby. They have not actually hit me. Yes. You say that the camera Yeah. Bye, baby. And then we're going to go to our Yes. So at times we have to complain. You give them the food. Now we're going to go to the have you ever heard that story? That happens to those who are new to Nairobi. Ah. When you come from up country and then you give someone a product, your product. Instead of taking you to your destination, mm. you just find out you're confusing and then they run away. Yeah. This is very easy to get lost in the crowd. If you don't know where they just take a corner and that's it. You want to locate them. There is uh, one who was saying the best thing you can do is uh, if you have a kid 
Or you yourself. Yes. You sit on the trolley. You sit on it. <laughs> so they move with you. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm not sure about that. So you can see there are a lot of hawkers along the road. These are very comfortable here. For long distance. Ah, this one is not for long distance. It's within Kiambu, but uh, it's in town service. Most likely it's just within the town service. Yeah, and I have noted that this street also has uh, several several banks along the way. So there is business full blown along this street. Very busy until <laughs> walking becomes a challenge. Yeah. You have to watch that you don't walk not in people around there. Uh, I think each time Nairobians get to adapt, they don't yeah. collide as much as of course. And then there is coexistence of people, vehicles, motorcycles, trolleys. Yeah. This one is uh, River, no, River Road, now it means... Uh, so this is River Road, where it meets uh, Ronald Ngala Street. And uh, I think you had promised people that you are going to end our video along the Ronald Ngala Street. Yes. And uh, uh, River Road seems to be around 1.5 kilometers long. I don't know when it was built. Uh -huh. It's some years back, maybe in the 1970s. Uh, so you can see now the dystrophic build-up. So this is uh, Ronald Ngala Street. Ah no, those ones are specific for you to be able to identify. So in this video we are just going to end it at the sculpture of uh, Ronald Ndala. I know most of people haven't uh, had a chance to see the sculpture but when you're watching this video up to this far be sure that we are finally at the sculpture of Ronald Ngala so maybe you can just tell us something about the sculpture Okay, the much I know is that it was commissioned by His Excellency and Back when? The... Okay, that has to be confirmed that was uh, December 2021 and it was in honor of his good work. Should it, I think Ronald Dale is the one who took a... Uh, okay, I don't have a lot of history to about Ronald Dale. Mm. But uh, one of the things that he did, I think it was... Uh, did he take part in multi party Most likely, and I think he was among the people who fought the fight for independence. Let me just rotate maybe to see him clearly. Thank you for watching this video up to this far.
been an amazing experience within the Nairobi CBD and uh, as you can see this is uh, Ronald Ndala uh, That building there you see that is RNG Plaza and it goes to meet Moy Avenue So be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive all updates once we do a new video Thank you and see you in our next video Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift.